The following stream contains mature content and subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Queen's Gambit. This is the Vampire Session 3 of our Queen's Gambit story. I am Mama McStabber, and I will be the storyteller for this, the final Vampire Session for this group. I would like for my vampires to introduce themselves, starting with Antoine and working around the table. Good evening. I'm Gray. And today I will be playing Antoine de la Cour, Nosferatu. Good evening. I am Sykeshire. I will be playing Sonia Mitchell, the Gangrel. Good evening. I'm Glassiate. And tonight I'll be playing Dr. Mamou Roberts of the clan Bano Hakim. Hi, I'm Cozy Kaur, or Unconscious Celestial, and I will be playing Charlie Sakrin, uh, Nosferatu. Hello, I am um, Evan Blade, and tonight I'm playing Sam Harrow of Clan Tremere. And now with introductions out of the way, we can do a little bit of a quick Cliff Notes version of what these vampires have done thus far and where they are now. So these vampires were tasked by Queen Jacqueline Durand, Ventru, Queen of Milwaukee, to break into the abandoned Tremere Chantry that there was an item that they needed to retrieve there for a special ritual that if everyone, including other supernaturals, does their part, the pieces can be combined and they can do a ritual that may help stabilize the Null Zone. It's an ambitious goal the queen has. She was hopeful that she was able to get a group of talented kindred to do this task. They got into the chantry. It wasn't nearly as hard as they actually thought it would be. Getting in wasn't the problem. It's when they got in that the problem started. They ran into a gargoyle that was hangry, had not been fed recently. That was, um, yeah, a fight. And uh, our Tremere here got waylaid. Pretty rough. So they incapacitated that gargoyle. Sanya here thinks she wants to adopt that one and uh, possibly the young gargoyle that they ran across navigating through the abandoned chantry. That young gargoyle didn't seem the, the fighter type that they fought. That one was more of almost like a scout. 
And she showed the group a certain key, basically, on the wall that a Tremere had to activate to open a portal. They stepped through the portal and noticed it was a different location. The location seems to be a cave. And the walls have veins in it that glow. They found some information from the old Tremere in this cave, the one that they had gotten information about the piece to begin with from Queen Durand. And Dr. Roberts here investigated that fairly thoroughly, revealing secrets within that information. He got some information on the keystone itself, but something that he picked up in that information was that this Tremere and the creature that resides in this cave were the dearest of friends. They would often challenge each other in good sport to contests of riddles. And they have navigated further into the cave. And this is where we are picking up. You enter into a space, it is obviously a more open space. And inside you see a pedestal with what appears to be a sphinx sitting on top of it, but it appears to be stone. The walls here almost have spider webbing of veins glowing gold. All of you can see it. You don't have to be able to suss out sorcery to see this. This isn't sorcery. What do you do? Monroe instantly lifts both his arms. I think we need to be extra careful here. This place seems to be guarded by some special powers. Charlie, who was previously reaching out to touch them all, pulls back in, like, yep, oh, hands in pocket. <laughs> Yeah, I think that portal took us a bit further mm -hmm. from the um, next room. I don't think this is the bat cave. Um, I think the proper animal would be more akin of a lion. Mm -hmm. <sighs> or a bear. Anyway, um, so just a little FYI, I got a reading on this particular journal I got last room. Um, there's a chance we're going to meet something that's going to test us, mentally speaking. I have no idea if, if we can stand a chance in combat. Honestly, um, if we go by all the legends, probably not. Mm. So... Let's, first order of business, let's not antagonize the thing. Don't piss off the creature. Got it. He looks pointedly at Harold when he says that. <laughs> and as he does, so Sam's busy looking around the room. Yeah. And I'm looking at our dear Ben Joachim, like, do I need? No pissing off, all right? Does there seem to be any obvious keystone here, or is it the pedestal and the statue, as far as we can tell? It's the pedestal and the statue, as far as you can tell. And no way out other than this room. Not that you can see. Would you like to roll to see if you can find an, another exit, other than the way you came? 
Um, I'll, I'm not going to search around, but I am going to have a look around. Okay. If that makes sense, I'm going to stay where I am just... Yeah, no, you can you can look around. So what I want you to do is roll. Let's roll wits awareness and let me take a look. You can even use your specialty of instincts. Okay. So go to use your power bonus to give you the plus one for your uh, specialty. And that's on your actions tab. Click that. Yep. And then click your stat. Okay, so you got six. Is anybody else rolling anything? What about traps? You can roll to suss out traps. That's going to be a wits awareness as well. You can use your power bonus to give you the plus one for your specialty in sussing out traps. Wits I want to get all the rolls out of the way and then I'll disperse right. information. Um, I'm going to try and recall any and all trivia about this friend of this Tremere. Okay. That I, that I can get. For that, you're racking your brain. That's going to be an intelligence occult. Okay. And on you, let me take a look. Your occult specialty is mystical artifacts. I'm not going to say that applies. Mm -hmm. Because this isn't an artifact. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But a four. Okay. Is anyone else rolling anything? Yeah, I rolled uh, wits and awareness to kind of do the same thing that Sam's doing. Okay. And I, I rolled for the traps and got a four. And Antoine, you rolled the same looking around? I didn't hear you. Are you muted? Yep. Uh, yes. Um, I did uh, wits awareness, but... You got two. So. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So I will say, I'm going to start at the low end and go to the high. So at two, Antoine, something about the veins in these walls make your teeth itch. This is not good. You know, whatever that is, that is powerful stuff. And it's nothing you've ever seen before. So next up, we have the fours. We have Sanya, who was sussing out for traps. Mm -hmm. This whole space is a trap if you fail. <laughs> so, like, are we talking like trap from the floor or just something will happen the in whole the whole space is a trap if you fail. And there's you no have just walked into a giant trap. And okay. being a huntress and trapper, you know, you're in deep shit. Um, y'all, seriously, this is one massive trap. I mean, massive. If we don't do this right, I don't think we're coming out of it. And Monroe, you trying to rack your brain about things you remember of sphinxes. I mean, you've read mythology. There's Greek myths of antiquity talking about sphinxes. There were even Egyptian myths about sphinxes that were likely influenced by Greek myth. They were guardians. They were wise beyond measure extremely powerful creatures and they would destroy those who trespass Maru emphatically agrees with Satya when she says that. Mm -hmm. 
So the sixes, Sam and Charlie, you're kind of sussing out to see if maybe there's another exit, see what what the layout of this place is. This seems to be a relatively circular space. There are some nooks and things. Based on how the walls are glowing, you notice there's some trinkets, it seems, on different little niches. Um, nothing that stands out as the keystone, though. And there doesn't appear to be any exit. It seems like this is the back of the cave. The only air you feel on your undead flesh is coming from the way you came. There are no drafts from any other directions. Well, it looks like we've only got the one way out, same way we came in. And no sign of the keystone here, as far as I can tell. Well, who's got themselves into the mood to answer riddles? Has anyone approached the statue of the Sphinx yet? As Monroe asks that, he starts approaching because he knows where it is, has to go before anything else happens. As you say that and approach the Sphinx, you hear all around you a woman's voice laughing. <laughs> Do you like riddles? It is a form of entertainment for myself. And she laughs again. <laughs> and you see the veins in the walls begin to glow almost like daylight. You're not taking damage from it. And beside the pedestal with the statue manifests a large creature. It has the face of a woman, beautiful, absolutely stunning. But she is feathered, has wings on her back. Her legs and what should be hands are instead those of a lion's with claws. And the tail, as if she had the body of a lion, even though it's feathered, is not a lion's tail. It is a serpent that is writhing and hissing. And she appears to you all just laughing. <laughs> she easily is about, I would have to say, about 10 feet tall. And she looks down on all of you and says, well, good. I'm glad you find them entertaining because I do as well. And she looks to the rest of you and says, how about the rest of you? Antoine is just petrified and the only word that came, <laughs> came, comes out is like, Magnifique. <laughs> that is power before you. Literally, the most powerful creature you've ever seen. <laughs> Charlie very quietly goes, well, problem solving is kind of like riddles. So 
I, I guess I like them well enough. She smiles and looks at Sonya. Yes, I like riddles. And if they're anywhere near as majestic as you are, they're going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. And is that a Tremere? Um, yes. My, you look like you've been through a lot. It's been an interesting day. But um, yes, riddles. I like riddles, listening to them. I'm not very good at them, but I do try. Well, do try your best. I will. And, well, you're pretty interesting. I am, aren't I? I would have thought you were a myth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I was a dream. The good one at that. The best. And she looks to all of you and says, well, then. You can each ask me one question before I start the game. Okay, um, I kind of go back to them and I say, <laughs> It's it's best we think very truth truly on what we're gonna ask. Because I don't think even after the answers we're gonna get much without playing, so who goes first? Okay, I go first. <laughs> Tomorrow turns around. Um, hello. Um, did I catch her name in the diary? He, the the writer of the diary only called her his dearest friend in the diary. Names are a powerful thing, especially with fey and ancillary creatures. True. True. So, um, Monroe says, um, thank you for having us here and not ripping us to shreds um, immediately. Um, my question is going to be very objective. If we succeed at your game, will you give us whoever's left the keystone we are in search for? That is why you are here? Yes. Then yes. If you can beat me at the game of riddles, you will, whoever survives, and she says that with a very broad grin, and you see very sharp teeth fill her mouth. You or whoever will get the keystone. Okay, my, my question's done, guys. Uh, good luck. Next. Come now, Ooh. I love questions. <laughs> Thinking of just the right one, though. Don't think too hard. You'll overthink, and then you won't think of anything. It can be a silly question. I've got one. Okay. Once in all your life, was there a riddle you couldn't answer? Not yet.
That thank you for the question. You are powerful. <laughs> yes, I am. And the next one. Are you part of the Keystone? I am made of what it's made of. At least in part. Um, besides the way we came in here, which was through the portal back there, is there another way to enter or leave this place? Yes. That's a good answer. And my question is going to be, is there a way to get a hint from you on any question you ask us? No. And that is all the questions. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> we'll start with a warm up because I need to test to see how smart you all are. This will be fun. <laughs> you may see across my width, through my beginning and end, it can be leagues apart. I am forever moving, but you will always see me in the same spot. What am I? Sorry, Teller. Yes. Is this where we can roll to mm -hmm. see if we think? Okay. <laughs> what should we roll? I want, I want y'all to <laughs> add literally, you can roll individually, or if you want to pair up and help someone because they have a better chance that you think they have a better chance you can pair up oh, they only get one bonus die from the help so it doesn't make sense for multiple people to try to help because they're only going to get one bonus die okay mm -hmm. all right so you can roll wits hang on let me take a look at the sheet it's definitely going to be wits and let me take a look at a sheet. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I am going to say this will be Wits Academics. Hey, wait a minute. I got a seven dice pool on this. <laughs> I got a five on that. <laughs> I have a five dice pool. Um, five as well. Anyone want to help me? So I got an eight dice pool. You can uh -huh. also surge your wits by rousing. Darling, mm -hmm. I'm going to use blood of potency. That, that too. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll add a dice to, to Monroe. Okay. okay. Wait, wait. I also have. Uh... What, what were you doing, Sam? Oh, I was just going to help whoever had the highest dice pool, basically. Okay, I've well, we've already got one person helping Monroe. So we have two with five. And how many do you have, Sam, in that pool? It's Wits Academics. <laughs> uh, three. Three. Okay, uh, yeah. So you can help. So you can choose between Antoine or Sanya that you would like to help. And I also have a plus one bonus, too. Yeah. Because I, I got academics. Hang on, so, you got a plus one bonus for what in academics? Research. I don't know if that would count. No. Okay. I've got poison. Okay, so, so your 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 specialties won't apply, but you can <laughs> sur but you can surge your wits to give you more dice. And Sam, you can choose if you're going to help Antoine or Sanya. I'll help whichever one is the highest uh, dice. They're they're point. they're both five. Ah. Oh. So pick one. Antoine. Okay. Okay. So you will get a bonus one die. So you can do the power bonus on top of whatever you surge and everything else. Okay. Sanya, if you're going to surge, you I need to see rouses for surges. 
Oh, okay. I just I'm put gonna, one. I'm going to use Bird of Potency. Okay, go ahead and use it. If it requires a rouse check, you need to do it. If I think it has a roll too, doesn't it? It does, yes. Mm-hmm. The first is a rouse check. I did that. Okay, you succeeded. Not hungrier. All right, so it's a power bonus. Let's see. Getting a success on a rouse check means you succeeded and you didn't get hungrier. It'll automatically update your sheet. Oh, four. And I'm doing. You didn't get a crit, so you're not getting two potency. You're only getting four. Is that enough to get a potency? Yes, the difficulty is is three. Is wait. My blood potency already is two. The difficulty is four. Yes, a bit. Yes. Okay, so the difficulty is four. You succeeded. So you can increase your blood potency to three. Yes. And you can surge based on blood potency of three, but you will need to rouse again. Okay. Um, how do I increase my blood potency in my character sheet? Yes. So on your character sheet, you are going to click the in the right top right corner. There is a lock symbol that says edit character sheet. Okay. Unlock that. And then on the actions tab, you should be able to increase your blood potency with that unlocked. Okay. And you increase it by hovering over it with your cursor and then doing, I believe it's, yeah, it's control and scroll up with your mouse or you can just type it in. Okay. Oh, it's done. Yep. All right. There you go. So that will update your blood potency stuff on your sheet and you can now do a rouse check to surge your wits with that new potency. Rouse is done. I did not get up. Okay. More. So we have three people doing wits academics. Mm-hmm. Nobody has a specialty in riddles, so you're not mm-hmm. going to get specialties. But those who are getting assistance, Monroe and Antoine, you can hit the blood surge on the actions tab and the power bonus on the actions tab, mm-hmm. and then go back to your main tab. And all three of you can roll wit, uh, wits, click that, and then roll the die icon by academics. I, I did that, but it didn't get a great score. So Okay, so we'll just see who gets what. You can also okay. re-roll by spending a willpower. I'm doing that. And I am re-rolling three? Yep, you can, you can select up to three. Okay. Um, Eight. Uh huh. Uh, let's go back. Roll real power. One, two, three. Okay. Reroll. Yep. Did it do it? It did. Whoa. Which ones? Um. You have to select the dies you want to reroll. Yeah. Yeah. And that would be. Gotcha. Up to not th- the onks. Not the onks, because the onks are successes. It, it only had two. Yep. Okay. So I will tell you three is not enough for this. Okay. You really don't have a clue what this riddle is. Okay. Five <laughs> is actually good enough for this riddle because it's not a challenging riddle. She's doing a warm-up exercise with you all to see if Y'all can catch on quickly. The eight, Monroe, yeah, you've got the, you know exactly (laughs) what this is, okay? So both Antoine and Monroe know that the answer to this riddle is a river. You may see across my width, though my beginning and end can be leagues apart. I am forever moving, but you will always see me in the same spot. What am I? A river. Momro kind of looks around, sees if, if anyone has the spark of got it. And if anyone does, he allows them to speak. So Antoine, you can answer. A river? And she smiles very broadly. Oh, very good. Very good. Oh. And she claps her paws together. Um, (laughs) Excellent. Excellent. 
One more, one more, just to make sure, because I, I, I could see the spark in two of you. You both, get, two of you got it. The others, not so much. That's concerning. Um, yes, so. How about. I can be touched but I hurt those that touch me. I move swiftly through the forest, but die in a mountain stream. What am I? Hey, roll again. You if you can either roll or if you as the player think you know, you can try to answer. <laughs> you There's don't someone. have to roll. You can try just off a of player knowledge. But character knowledge, if you're relying on character knowledge because you think character knowledge is better than player knowledge, then you have to roll for that. Oh, Corey, I saw your face and I saw you Zoom chat. Corey knows. Yeah, so Corey needs to answer for Charlie. <laughs> no, I think I know. Uh -huh. When you said it at first, I think I know, but I don't want to be wrong and risk that. <laughs> well, these are warm-up exercises. You're not likely to get it for these. This is a low-risk part of the story. So oh. I kind of like, I, I think I know, I think I know what this might be. Hmm. She thinks she's got it. Okay, um. I can be touched, but I hurt those that touch me. I move swiftly through the forest but die in a mountain stream. What am I? She kind of, uh, I'm not gonna get her for answering this, right? No, dear, this is just practice. Um, is it fire? She literally is joyous that you got it. You're smarter than you think. None of these others got that. You're smarter than you think. <laughs> All right. One more test one. One more. This time, I want to see if the Tremere and the Huntress have an answer. A warrior amongst the flowers. He bears a thrusting sword. He uses it whenever he must to defend his golden hoard. What is he? I think I know. I've got an idea, but um, oh. we're thinking the same thing. I won't get hurt for it. No, this is the this is the practice round. B. Yes, it's a B. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Did you think of that too? I was thinking a B, but I was trying to get think. It can't be a wasp because they no, don't, they don't make honey. Has to be bee. <laughs> honey being the treasure. And bees are somewhat defensive with their treasure. Yes, they mm -hmm. are. Very good, very good. You each got an answer. Congratulations. Good, 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 good. You'll need to work together for the next part. These will be the challenging ones. Oh yes. You all have come here for a very important treasure. 
For very important reasons, too. Oh, I know. My friend told me all about it and why it needed to be made. He died, didn't he? He died. He died defending a book that contained his, well, knowledge of this on this place. He was brilliant. Mm -hmm. I miss him. I will Well, anyways, let's go ahead and start, shall we? Mm. Now do understand if you get any of these wrong, and you all will have to answer. You aren't meant to have the treasure. If I can get my text file to open. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. All right. I am a state of being, yet I can also be a verb. I can be both a restriction and a connection. I can limit freedom, yet also create security. I can be a source of frustration, yet also a source of comfort. What am I? If you need me to repeat it, you can ask. I would like to repeat it. Okay. I am a state of being, yet I can also be a verb. I can be both a restriction and a connection. I can limit freedom, yet also create security. I can be a source of frustration, yet also a source of comfort. What am I? If you would like to roll for this, these are intentionally yeah. challenging riddles. <laughs> yeah. Being bilingual is being a hindrance in this mm -hmm. case, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It, but, okay. Well, I'm going to blood surge um, wits. Yep. Will the blood surge I fully yeah, expect okay. anyone who hasn't to blood surge wits at this yeah, point. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. So, yeah. Blood surge. Round surge. And a wits and what? In this academics. Particular okay. Actually, no. In this one, I'm going to say you can do either academics or occult because now we're at the more advanced riddles. These are tying to occult things. Okay. So we can do blood surge. It's blood if, surge if you, rouse if, check. If, if, yeah, blood surge is a rouse check, and then you hit the blood surge on mm -hmm. your on your actions tab, and mm -hmm. then go back and roll your wits and either academics or occult. But you don't do rouse check and blood surge, or do you do both? It's um, six and a half. You four. have to do a rouse check to activate the surge. Got it. Okay. Is six enough or do I need to Oops, push two? To you decide what you need to do. <laughs> oh, thanks. Do you need to burn a willpower for it or not? Do you think six should be enough? Dang it. I don't know, so I'm gonna re-roll. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm re I'm re-rolling too. I'm yeah, gonna... same. Yeah. Oh, eight. I'm sure that's good. Um, eight, I'm sure that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know that. Nick, How do I do the do. willpower? I was okay. muted. On your sheet, you have a, on your willpower little block there, there's a button at the bottom that says reroll. Click that. I just click that? Yep. And then you pick the, the, the dice you want to reroll. All 
I got four the second time and two the first time. You could have picked up to three, but it wouldn't let me do the three dots. It only let me. Yeah, pick. because you you had two. You you only had one available, or however many available. But we can't reroll again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you use a willpower, you can reroll up to three dice that are not blood dice. Oh, okay. So I could have done an onk and two black dots. You could you could have picked an onk if you wanted to chance a success. Oh, I did not. I just did the black dots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah. So that. So right now, what we're looking at is we have Sam with a crit and eight. Mm -hmm. We have Monroe with a straight eight. (laughs) We have Sanya with a straight four. Mm -hmm. We have Charlie with a straight four. And we have Antoine with a five. Straight. How many people here have ever been under the effects of a blood bond? I mean, we have oh, probably uh, your characters, probably, your characters. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> you know, listening to this and re- replaying the each line in your head, it speaks to your beast within. All of you got enough successes for this. It's only going to get more challenging from here. This is a bond. Oh, oh, see, that was about what I was about. Something like that. (laughs) I am a state of being, yet I can also be a verb. To bond. Mm -hmm. Or be bonded. Or have a bond. There's different types of bonds. Mm -hmm. I can be both a restriction and a connection. I can limit freedom, yet also create security. I can be a source of frustration, yet also a source of comfort. And she just looks at you all as the realization hits and says, what am I? I think we all have an idea on this one. Mm -hmm. Um, And we... Um, He waits. Um, Did Sam already say the answer? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Moreau says, can we... And, uh, you know, talk with amidst ourselves before giving you the answer? Absolutely. Okay, I think everyone. you have it. I saw the light yeah. in your eyes. Yeah, it looks like everyone might know this one. I think we all can relate to this in some level. Let's not take chances. And then Moro yes. grabs everyone. And you huddle together. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Football style. Okay. All right. We got it. It's a bond. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. Yes. I was thinking yeah. it's like a blood bond, so. Yeah. Um, let's just say bond. Uh, yeah, let's just do bond. Yeah. yeah. It is a bond fit. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sam, you do it. <laughs> just in case. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, as we sort of break our huddle, I'll um, face our host and say, um, we've all agreed. We believe the answer is a bond. Indeed, I am a bond. My friend and I had a bond that started well before he was ever made like you. It was an ancient one. We'd been friends for so many of his lifetimes. Oh.
Um, Some fair loss. Thank you. I do miss him. He raises a finger. He backs on his back and takes out the diary. Then I believe you should have this. And gives her. She holds out her paws and takes it. Thank you. And she actually walks over to one of the niches and sets it there. Comes back next to the statue. Now. Next question. Next riddle. I hold the weight of many, yet I am but a single stone. Remove me and the structure falls, though I bear no burden alone. What am I? Yeah, I roll. Okay. Yeah, roll. <laughs> 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 roll in, roll in, roll in. Again, this is, you've already surged. It's good for the scene. You don't have to surge again. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can use your blood surge for the rest of the scene. Um, so you're going to roll for wits, either academics. If you have a specialty in academics, ask me if it applies. Or wits occult, ask me if it applies, if you have a specialty. Art history, not academics. Mm. I've got research. I've got an idea what this answer might be, but I don't want to risk it at this point. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> it big risk right. equals big rewards, right? Um, I can't see what my specialty is in a course. Okay, so if you go to your character sheet and click on the I next to the um, occult, That'll pull it down. Yeah. My I've got... Is wards, would that affect this? Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. What about research? Nope. Nope. Still nope. Okay. Art history? No. No. Okay. Ten. Let's go. How did that happen? That was weird. Um, you know what? Oh, I didn't hit the right one. Oop, my bad. Okay, make sure you click on where it says impaired over your willpower. Make sure you click on that to take off the impaired. Oh, got it. Eek. So you can re-roll, click on your wits and your academics. Okay, that's all you have is three wits uh, and academic academics. Who, me? Yeah. I got one. It, it rolled four. Okay, but you, did you blood surge wits? Nope. Let me do that then. There we go. Now I did. Okay, so you click on blood surge, then mm -hmm. roll your stat and things. Yes, what you got, Antoine? Got a question. There we go. Uh, would I be able to use wits and science for this one? My specialty in science is chemistry? Mm -mm. No. No. Okay. For this, this would be far more academic based. Okay. I got if someone three. had a specialty in architecture, they could use that. And I can do some willpower rerolling. Yes. And you can select up to three dice to reroll. But not the ank, not the ox, though. If, if you don't want to risk your successes, yeah, no. Don't pick those. Oh. I'm going to reroll. Okay. So click your reroll under your willpower. It will spend automatically spend a willpower to do so. Let's be myself for making a mental character for this. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. <laughs> mm 
Okay. Is everyone done or is anybody re-rolling that needs to re-roll? Anything like that? I did all I think I can. Yeah. If you've already re-rolled, you've done mm -hmm. it. And uh, Charlie has re-rolled. I'm done. You're done? Okay. So scrolling back. Okay. Sam got seven mm -hmm. straight. Monroe got eight straight. Okay. I got four. You got four. Mm -hmm. Antoine got five straight. And then Charlie, uh, did a wits re-roll and got five straight. Now she's going to look at you all and say, I want you each to whisper the answer in my ear. If you got five or more, the answer is a keystone. I hold the weight of many, yet I am but a single stone. Remove me and the structure falls, though I bear no burden alone, because a keystone is surrounded by other stones. Mm -hmm. What am I? Um, Four or less, you do not have a clue. Okay. So... Who's going first to tell her the answer? Um, I'm, we've got a whisper it. Have... In her ear. You have to um, approach her and tell her the answer now from here on out. I'll... Charlie will go first. Okay. okay. So as I'll... Charlie comes closer, this 10 foot tall giant creature leans down to bring her ear close to your face. I have a question. Does she take her eyes out of us for even just a second? Absolutely not. God damn it. <laughs> there is a snake as well. And there's a snake looking at you too. So wherever her eyes can't be, the snake is looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So as she puts her ear close to you and you whisper keystone into her ear, she just smiles and says, very good. I told you you were smarter than you thought. And she says, and as you walk away, she says, okay, next. Um, I'll, oh, whoever's closest first, Antoine, has got his finger up first. Antoine's coming next? I think. Yep. Okay. So as you approach her, she also leans down to you, and she is still looking at the others with her snake also observing. And you whisper in her ear, Keystone. And she says, very good. Very good. You and the other one like you. Very cunning. I like that. And she leans back up. And you return. And now Sam's coming? Yes. Well, Sam will approach next. Okay. Much the same. And... You whisper in her ear, and she smiles, and she says, of course it is. Of Just course. Just what came for. Yep. And she leans back up and says, okay. And she looks to the other two and says, who's next? Oro goes, and he kind of looks at Sanya on his way to see if she's got it. You're going to have to roll. Ooh. Wits insight. Okay, I have my wits searched. <laughs> <laughs> you will have to roll wits insight. Okay. And Sanya, if you would like to not give any tells on your face, you're going to roll ma manipulation subterfuge. Um, yeah, subterfuge. Would it matter, though? I mean, that's... You can try. It depends on what your pool is. Okay. 
So you said wits and subterfuge? Manipulation mm. subterfuge. Manipulation subterfuge. Manipulation. Mm. No, you didn't have to pull for that. Okay. You're too, you're, you, you wear your whole, you, you wear all your emotions on your face. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So Monroe, you can tell she's absolutely fucking terrified. Monroe is going to the Sphinx and mm-hmm, she's and, going to whisper. Mm-hmm. Said, very good. Very good. You are very smart. And mm-hmm. she leans back and says, and looks to Sanya and says, okay, dear, it's your turn. You've waited last. Remember our mission, Sanya. I just had to put in the chat uh, on Zoom whether anyone had wanted to use enhanced senses to try and eavesdrop what everyone else was saying. No. If you cheat, you all die. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's okay. It was, it was a <laughs> Can I, can I ask something? Um, will I be able to feel that there is a danger here now? And if I do, could I rush for fortitude if something happens? Um, let me take a look real quick at your sheet. <laughs> I would say this is not an ambush. Your awareness specialty is in ambushes. This is not an ambush. You have an incredibly powerful creature that has said there are consequences if you fail. This isn't an ambush. They've told you. This is basically a life or death thing. And as the creature Leans down, but you can rouse fortitude if you want. Anybody can. Because you are dealing with a monster here. Yeah, I'm going to be rousing something. (laughs) Okay. So I'm hitting. What are you activating? Me, I'm just fortitude. Which which fortitude? uh, You have different powers. um, Resilience. Your resilience, you don't activate. That's a passive. I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, look. Toughness? Yeah, toughness. Toughness? Yeah, it's toughness as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, so toughness will basically subtract your fortitude rating um, from all superficial damage. Doesn't work on ag. Only Defy Bane works on ag. Let's do that. Okay, you're going to rouse for at, for Defy Bane. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you've got Defy Bane up. Yep. It converts it from ag to superficial. Now, if you want to roll, if you want to rouse both, you can do two rouse treks. So that way you can do Defy Bane to convert ag to superficial and then toughness that's, to reduce the superficial. Yep, 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 <laughs> yep. That, I'm liking this idea. Okay. Those two right. work really good together. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. Okay. I did wipe a bunch of rouse checks accidentally, I think. Um You did have, you did two, so you got hungrier for one. Gotcha. It automatically updates, so you don't have to update that. Got it. Okay. But you have now roused both. So you have both Defy Bane and mm-hmm. Toughness activated. So if you take damage. If it's ag damage, it'll be converted right. to superficial. Right. And if it is superficial, it'll be d- reduced by your. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. All right. So as you walk up to her and she leans down and says, whisper what you think the answer is. He's going to lean in. She's remembering the mission she's activated whatever she can i don't know her snake tail strikes out at you you take three ag (sighs) but because you did (sighs) defy bane 
and toughness. That converts mm-hmm. that three ag because you do have fortitude of three dots. Mm-hmm. My God. <laughs> to three superficial. <laughs> Mm. But you also have fortitude. It cannot be reduced below one. So you will take Mm -hmm. one superficial damage. So mark that on your sheet. And if you go to your main tab, you can click on your health bar. If you just click one, the first empty box on the left once, it'll be a superficial. Got it. Okay. Take it. Oh, nope. Hang on. You clicked. There, I fixed it for you. The yellow, oh, the, the yellow plus is superficial. The red plus is ag. Oh, I didn't mean to give myself ag. <laughs> <laughs> no, so there you go. I, 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 and she kind of sit, re- rears herself back up and looks at you, kind of cocks her head and says, oh, you're tough. I like that. I am appreciative that you like that. <laughs> Do return to the others. I'm going to back up. And at here is where we are going to go to break. (laughs) We'll be back in 10, everyone. Welcome back, everyone. My Twitch didn't show that we were back yet, but welcome back, everyone. And now we have a gangrel that fortunately prepared herself for what was coming and only took a little bit of damage when she could have taken a fairly significant amount of damage. Yeah. It stung. It stung. That, that, that viper bite stung. Yeah. And so now she looks at you all and says, halfway there. Very good. And I don't see my riddles. Hang on. There we go. Okay. So she says, next riddle. Are you excited? Are you terrified? All of the above. Mm. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Good. I like honesty. I am forged in the crucible of shared purpose, a tapestry woven from threads of diverse voices. I am the strength that arises when differences converge, the power that flourishes in the fertile ground of acceptance. Though I have no form, I can move mountains. Though I have no voice, I can speak volumes. Though I have no body, I can conquer empires. What am I? A list of things that could be... The row again. <laughs> rolling, 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 rolling. God dang it. It's probably you think you've got it. I pasted the riddle in Zoom chat. That way, if you oh. want to read it, there you Thank go. You. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, would a cult relate to this at all or not? I don't think so. Just wits and some. I will say for this one, let me look. Because of the subject matter of the answer. Hang on just a second. You can roll. Wits academics. Or wits. Persuasion. This and is research, not. This so, is not a cult. No, and a, research a one because it means just go and buy what you've allowed us to roll. It's not what I thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. And research as the as the specialty still doesn't hit. Okay. Okay. Cool. 
Rouse blood check. Yeah, I'm rolling that. What are you rousing for, Sanya? Oh, my bad. I was blood surging. You already did your wits. Yeah. Got it. You succeeded, uh, but you didn't need to rouse again. You just click on the blood surge button. Oh, God. Oh, God. <sighs> this is going to hurt. <sighs> So you can roll either wits academics or wits persuasion. Okay, my bad. I saw Sam do before. I thought it was the other one. Yeah, Sam <clears throat> should not have done performance. Oh, wits sorry. Wits persuasion or wits academics. Yeah, I've actually got the same dice in both. Yours can be okay. Mm-hmm. But Charlie, if your dice are not the same, are they? Okay, there we go. Sorry, I need to do the, do that, do that into the blood. No, you're good. It didn't, oh, it didn't do the blood surge. Roll one more die, uh, roll two more die. Uh, you can right click on the D10 and hit two and drag it onto the chat bar. Do you see how to do that? Okay, at the bottom of your screen, there's some dice. Right click on the D10, click the 2X, should have two dice now on your cursor, drag it and put and click it onto the chat box. I have no 2X, is it? Right click on the die. Oh. Yeah, okay, there we go. There you go. Okay, neither one of those are successes, but that's okay. Yep. All right, so looking through. All right, so Monroe got seven straight. Sam got five straight. And did you do a willpower, Sam? No? Um, I think I did. Hang on a second, I'll check. I don't see one. Oh, a four. Oh, half. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. you you started with a three, and then you got yeah. five. Okay, so you got five. Okay, so you you got five. Monroe got a seven. Um, Sanya got one. <laughs> Charlie got six with a crit, with a messy crit. But on passive things, I don't really have messy crits do anything. Um, And then Antoine got four. So because we are increasing the the success threshold (laughs) per question, this now requires six or more successes to pass. Ouch. So if you have less than six, you have no idea. If we we OOC... Doesn't no, you roll. It still doesn't. You roll. Oh, okay, got it, got it, got it. Your choice is to either player knowledge or rolling. Got it. Okay, got it. Okay, so if you got five or less, you have failed this test. Six or higher, you succeeded. For those that got six or higher, you know the answer to this is unity. I was thinking so I was thinking cooperation. Unity. I, th- I thought collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Oh, the, as soon as I read it, I was like, oh, unity. And I was like, no, that doesn't seem right, though. Trust. It's, <laughs> the answers are not really that hard. It's just it's a challenging riddle because there's lots mm-hmm. of little details. Right. 
Mm -hmm. It is designed to throw you off. <laughs> it, it's throwing something <laughs> off. It's throwing my dice off. I would have been far more upset if I'd had a bad roll. If I'd had a bad roll and then I knew the answer. Oh, oh so yeah. But okay. All right. So I'm going to say the people who have succeeded need to approach her first. Okay. Yeah, because the rest are going to get hurt. Because the rest are going to get some damage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Charlie right. immediately runs up first. Charlie runs up. She's like, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I am smarter than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and she oh. leads down. And literally, she has a beaming smile for you, Charlie. She might actually like you. Okay. <laughs> And she just smiles and leans down. You see literally nothing but like shark teeth in her mouth. They're all sharp points. And she's like, what's the answer, dear? And you whisper in her ear, unity. And she says, oh, you are brilliant. Truly. Thank you. And she stand and she rears herself back up. Carla kind of goes back like, I get it. <laughs> Oh. Monroe goes after um, <laughs> and he whispers on the, her ear to answer. Yeah, unity. And she's like, of course it is. I knew you'd know that. And she Thank just you. leans back up. All uh, right. So who is going next? Um, I got five, so... I'll go next. It makes sense. Okay. So, Sam, you approach <laughs> and you whisper in her ear what? Um, wind, because that was the closest I thought at the time. Okay. And she says, no, that isn't it. And she swipes at you with her paw. Okay, okay. For aggravated damage. How much was that, sorry, four? Four. That's enough to um, kill him. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, when she swipes at Sam, he goes completely still for just a second and then turns to Ash. Unfortunately, he didn't know. Who's next? I'll go. Okay, so Antoine, you approach her and she smiles and leans down. I will, before I whisper, I will be. Have you already roused your fortitude? No, not yet. You should. But uh, yeah, but I was trying to say, could I be trying to avoid the blow? Absolutely, you can. Yeah, this you can is try. what I'm going to do. Yep, you can. App and if you want to rouse, if you have the ability to, I don't know what your hunger's at, but if you want to rouse to switch from wits to decks, you can also surge decks. That's what I'm going to do. So I need uh, I need to rouse check then. Yep. So you'll need to rouse check. You get a little bit hungrier. Yeah. What What's your hunger at right now? Uh, three. Three. Okay, you're still good. Okay, so you're going to use blood surge when you roll your dex athletics to try to dodge. Okay. Okay. But I also recommend you surge toughness just on the off chance. Okay. Granted, it may not help much because this is ag, but it might help you feel a little better. <laughs> Unless okay. you have more fortitude, let's take a look at you. I've got nope. You've got toughness. Okay, but you've got I've... but you've got resilience too. So you've got a yeah. you've got a decent amount of health. You should be okay. I've got two only two at fortitude. So yeah, that's okay. All right. So as you approach her and you have 
you know, prepared yourself for this, knowing you don't know the answer. And she leans down and says, what do you think it is? Unfortunately, I will not be able to answer you. I am sorry to hear that. And she also takes a swipe at you with her paw. You can roll Dex Athletics to try to dodge it. Make sure you blood surge. Going to try to build power then. <laughs> you can do so. You are actually able to move out of the way of her swipe. She got eight successes on her attack roll, and you've got ten with your dodge. And she's, oh, dexterous, aren't you? That's wonderful. And she sits back up. And you return back to where you were. And she looks to Sanya. Okay, storyteller, question. Can yes. I use tras transversal or transver traversal? Traversal? No, that's Versal, going that's you. going up walls and stuff. So that's not going to help me here. No. All right. <laughs> Well, I'm you've already try got it. what you need. You've got what you need. You have defy bane up. You have toughness okay. up. And if you want to try to dodge, you can. You can do a deck. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that one. OK, so if you want to surge, you have to rouse again to surge for mm -hmm. decks because you're switching it. You no longer have the blood surge on wits. I got that. OK, so now you can click now when when you give her answer and she goes to attack you, you can roll your dex athletics to try to dodge. OK, OK. All and right. Do I blood surge that too or no? You click the blood surge when you roll your dex athletics. Got it. That's what I thought. So you click, okay. you click the blood surge first and then roll mm -hmm. your dex athletics. OK, got it. Got it. Got it. OK, so as you approach her and she leans down and says, hello, dear, do tell me what you think it is. What I think it is, is probably an answer that I really don't know. I wish I did, but I don't. And she says, that's unfortunate. And she swipes at you as well. Are you going to roll your dex athletics? Make sure you hit you, blood you. surge first. I certainly am. Ooh. Okay. Can't and do now, power <laughs> No, you can't. <laughs> you both tied. But in Vampire, ties go in the favor of the vampire players. <laughs> dodge. <laughs> Literally dodge the knife. Dodge. And Ooh. you do not take damage because you, as she goes to swipe at you, you just step back. And she misses. Very good. Very good. I am starting to like you all. 
I am sorry about your friend, though. He wasn't my friend. Oh, speaking of which, you've now resolved your enemy flaw, Dr. Monroe. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, F in chat for Sam. F in chat for <laughs> Sam. God dang it. <laughs> All right. That's cold. And she actually rubs her paws together. It's the last one. This is exciting. <gasps> I am the absence of chains, yet I can be forged in fire. I am the absence of walls, yet I can be built by the mind. I am the absence of fear, yet I can be lost in a blink. I am the absence of control, yet I can be wielded like a weapon. What am I? Can we post in chat, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah, please. I'm copying it now <laughs> to do so. <laughs> there you go. You can read it over and over if you need to. Oh, chains. Change. Okay. Yeah, the absence of chains. You know what? Let's live a little dangerously. I think I know the answer. I'm not going to roll. Again, you have the option. You can do player knowledge or roll for character knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to try uh, the same. I think I'm going to try character uh, person. Knowledge. There. Okay. Yep. And understand the success threshold has increased. This is the final question. And that's, that's, a, you that's have, above five, no matter no, what. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah. You would have to get crits. Right. To potentially succeed on a roll. Like how many crits? <laughs> uh, you have to have a minimum of seven successes. I'm... Mm. I can try to roll, but I'm not. Uh. Shoot, I will try to roll, but I'm not confident in it. We'll try. Okay. Yeah, that's enough. Because <laughs> I don't know. And Antoine, what are you going to do? Are you, going, are you going to do player knowledge or are you going to roll? Um, I'm going to roll. Okay. This is going to be a wits academics role, period. Uh, and Sonia, you need to re-roll mm. because you don't get to bl use blood surge on your wits. You changed it to dex. Oh, that's right. So oh, did Antoine. Man. Do not blood surge this role. Got it. So wits. Just straight wits and academics. Yeah. Yeah, that was sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no science because of the forge. No, <laughs> no. I can try. <laughs> Can't you just go invisible and call it a day? <laughs> if you have willpower to spare, you might try that. Mm. Um, got one last one. No, oh, you mean, oh, you were being serious. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> so close. Mm -hmm. So close. All right. 
she actually looks to Sanya and says, you come here first, dear. <sighs> and this time she doesn't lean her ear to you. She leans down and looks you dead in the eye. And her eyes appear like cat eyes. She says, what's your answer? Strength. Unfortunately, that is not it. This time, she opens her jaws and takes you in. All the way? All the way. Oh. F and chat for Sanya. And I'm not necessarily disappointed about it. I'm, just I'm sorry. I mean, and she will sit back up. And she will look and say, Who's next? Antoine goes, but strangely, he doesn't answer, but he, he, he starts to put, uh, to put on a sta uh, fight stance, like, oh dear. I don't know. If I go down, I go down fighting. Do you know the answer? Why couldn't it be an, a science question? No, I don't know the answer. She opens her jaws, but you are already in a fight stance. So would you like to brawl this creature as it goes to eat you? I think I'll try to, or to evade or to brawl, yeah, I think. Okay. Go ahead and roll. You did surge your dex. Mm -hmm. So hit your blood surge and then hit your dex brawl and see what you get. Oops. She got eight successes. As her jaws come down on you. Antoine is taken within her. Come on, bro. <laughs> F in chat for oh. Antoine. Come Jackie is going to be so <laughs> upset. <laughs> come on, Antoine. Come down here with me. <laughs> I knew this might be a TPK, okay? <laughs> the stakes were incredibly high for this group. They didn't realize it until this moment. <laughs> All right. And now she gets back up. Who's next? Do you want to go, Monroe, or do you want me to go? Not really. <laughs> Okay, so Charlie goes forward. <clears throat> does, does she want me to whisper? No. At this point, she says, no, at this point, just tell me what you think it is. Charlie 
uh, goes freedom. And she looks to Monroe when she says that. Did you think that? I thought power. Come. I do. Re I I approach. I do realize you're gonna eat one of us. So before you eat one of us, for one of us to not die in curiosity, could you say the answer? It is freedom. Okay. And she eats Monroe. Monroe, um, th the ahead. last action of Monroe is his, he throws a weird cranium to Charlie. That's a little too small. You don't know what the, that is. <laughs> F in chat for Monroe. <laughs> Come join the party. Uh, the, <laughs> the party in the Sphinx's belly. The party in the tummy. The party in the tummy. Charlie We're... just falls to her knees at this point. And just like freezes. Is it, it, it almost in like a freeze state? You have earned the keystone, Charlie. I told you you were smarter than you thought. The Sphinx touches a placard that was on the pedestal that the statue of her sits on. The placard begins to glow, and the Sphinx herself shrinks a bit. She takes the placard into her hand. I also thank you. You have freed me. I had to stay here to guard this. Now, take it. And she holds out the placard to you, Charlie. Um, Charlie reaches out and um, says, I don't blame you, and kisses the Chimera's hand, or Sphinx's hand. I was a dream of a guardian. An old, old dream. I will show you the way out that the Tremere didn't see. And then I will go home and become a new dream. Find a new friend. I hope it's one you can pick. I picked the last one. It was unfortunate what happened to him. He was magnificent before he was turned. He was still... Rather spectacular after, but he was dimmer. And she kind of goes down on all fours like in a lying position. Do get on my back, dear. Where we're going, you're going to need me to lead you. 
Uh, Charlie climbs on and holds on tight. And she immediately ports both of you into the dreaming. And you all, you see things you've never seen before. I mean, literally, she's following what appears to be a silver path in a forest that is the most fantastical thing you've ever seen. Colors so vibrant. Nothing like this on Earth. Creatures like you've never seen. And she is moving faster than wind. And she takes you through an archway. She gets back down on her fours and lays down. Says, there is where you need to go, and you actually see a subway door. you'll be able to find your way from there. Thank you, Charlie. You're well. And she walks towards the door and walks out. And the Sphinx, you never see nor hear her again. But you have the keystone. It is still nighttime. It would seem like almost like days had passed. But it is still nighttime because time works funny in the dreaming. <laughs> Absolutely just baffled. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where do you go? Do you go straight to the queen? Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you come straight into the court. The sheriff, the marcade, goes and gets Queen Durand. And she comes and says, did you get it? I did. She takes it from you. You are the only one to survive it. I'm fortunate to say so, Miss. I knew the cost may be high. doesn't make any pain that we feel any less. Truer words have never been spoken. I will need you again. If the others have gotten what they need, this will be important. Can you ensure that the ritual is performed to heal our city? I will do what I can to be there. Thank you. Is there anything I can do for you? while we wait the others. She's asking you if you would like a boon. If 
it's all the same. Can you hold on to that request until this is all over? Of course. Of course. Do let Cedric know. If you also have anyone that needs assistance, I'm happy to provide for them as well. Thank you, Miss Saccharin. Your service was of the utmost importance. Charlie kind of straightens a little bit more. Sighs. And just nods. Do get some rest. I will call upon you when the time is here. I await. And with that, the queen takes the keystone and leaves the room. The sheriff escorts you back out. And you return to your haven. To recuperate, rest. <laughs> it was and a rough night! <laughs> what? I, I just... What did Monroe toss? I didn't catch that. Like, I caught it, but I didn't catch what you said. His skull. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, Charlie. Charlie's holding on to this skull yeah. as we close out. All right, and that concludes the vampire sessions of Queen's Gambit. Thank you to all my players. I'm sorry it was nearly a TPK at the end. <laughs> You're sorry it wasn't a full TPK. <laughs> Gates of acid in her stomach that no one's ever seen. We're gonna be like, make, oh she'll no! Be Ill. As she returned to the dreaming and became dream stuff all again, just piles of ashes everywhere. Oh, I thought we got puked up. Oh no! Okay. Oh no! <laughs> you no, got Mom, destroyed. Moro is just happy that he saw <laughs> Sam going first. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us this evening. Oh, my goodness. Next up, you get to see Wraiths next Friday. Let's see how they do. <laughs> Join us on the Discord. I'm sure folks have been posting in the Discord about this session with all the yeah. riddles and the, all the deaths at the end. Oh my God. And we got eight. <laughs> we got eaten. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, but yeah, join us on the Discord. That is where we cast this game from. That is where we hang out, do all the things. You also get notified when we go live and when our friends go live and stuff like that. And there are presently two casting calls open in our Discord. We have a 7th C game run by our amazing European GM, Dr. Tiss. Um, she's going to be starting that up in January. So she's doing a casting call for that. And then Brad, Timber Brad mm -hmm. of Windy City. Yeah, that played Nicholas in Windy City and is in the Wraith game too here as Nicholas. Because Nicholas became a wraith after he got got. But yeah. Uh, got, got. <laughs> so yeah, he's he's got a casting call open for Delta Green. So if you want to get in on those games, you got to be part of our Discord community. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And you can check out back episodes of this show or any of the other shows that we have done on our YouTube channel. Mixdaver Studios YouTube is where we post the bulk of our content. And you can also go to the London Esoteric Society YouTube for the Call of Cthulhu uh, London Esoteric Society that just wrapped its 100th session last Saturday and is now on hiatus. Um, and of course, there's also D&D 5E on that channel, which is called Ishvel. That was a series that Tiss ran um, for us when she first joined us, and that has concluded. So that's a complete campaign for your viewing enjoyment, if you would like it. Um, so you can check those out there and make sure you subscribe to those channels and like and comment on videos that you watch on them because that way it boosts them in the algorithm so more people find the content. Mm -hmm. We've literally had people commenting that the algorithm's doing its job. It, they they found it in a search and came and say it saw it and they love our stuff. So yeah, literally, if you do that, it helps other people find us. So, and it's free. It's free. Just takes a few moments. That's all. Um, so please do that. And of course, if you would like to check out amazing content creators that do streaming on their own channels, check out Junie Monesh. Her link is in chat right now. Ravnos Archon. Links in chat right now. Both Junie and Ravnos are storytellers here as well, but they run, they do various streams on their own channel. Ravnos Archon does TTRPGs. Junie does crafting and gaming and all kinds of different things mostly crafting though she does a bit of stitch and beach mm -hmm. yeah yeah St stitch and bitch stitch and beach yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah um so yeah she does that and then of course we have mischievous red she does mini painting gaming whatever she, her her fancy is um typically on sundays and then of course re-rolls runs ttrpgs on his channel as well and we also have merch available if you would like to check that out. And also we have that links in chat. If you would like to support the players, you can do so by showing us your biddies. We give bits and donations to the players at our tables. Um, we take taxes out because Uncle Sam's got to get his cut, but they get the rest. And if you would like to support the channel, you can do so now by subscribing at Twitch. That way you don't get ads that interrupt our TTRPG games for you. Um, if you have a Prime subscription, you get one free subscription a month on, on Twitch, and you may consider giving that to us. Um, and you can also donate to us directly without Twitch taking half because it's a god-awful pimp and do so through our Ko-Fi page. Yeah, you can do that. Um, but of course, if money's tight and I know holidays are coming up to literally don't strap yourself for us, we will be fine. Do the YouTube thing where it's free for real. That, that helps us a lot. Um, mm -hmm. And definitely, definitely. Yeah. Check out the amazing games we have coming out over the next week. Wednesday. 8 p.m. Eastern, Demon the Fallen. Yeah, we're we're up in LA. We're up in LA. And everything is sus. Everything is sus. It's it's so sus. So sus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, yeah. Aramel's in town now. So yeah. Arizeth had to fuss at him because he wasn't, you know, getting any like real food for her kids while the they were staying with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie down there, she's in demon too. Mm -hmm. And we got Scythe man and he's, he's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Then on Friday, join Shanky and his crew of Wraith players as they do Queen's Gambit, the third Wraith session. They're in this sus ass place in the mm. Shadowlands that is so mm. sus, so sus. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure any of them are going to walk out. I'm going to be real. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all think I'm brutal. Just wait till my husband. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
at 8 p.m. Eastern on Friday. And then mm-hmm. Saturday, we have at 8 p.m. Eastern. V5, VTM, Chicago, Hidden City. It is set in 2010. It was under Peterson's rule, but this coterie of ancillae now elders, because they did a ritual that allowed them to do group diablery, and now they are all Generation 9. (laughs) 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 Yeah. (laughs) Glossier is when they're with me. And uh, yeah, (laughs) it's a whole thing. Um, So yeah, join us for that Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern, because yeah, um, we basically took out Sun. Uh, we have Capone on the fucking run, and we still have Maxwell on the menu. So, you know, yeah, good shit. Good shit. Mm hmm. And yeah, that's it. That's it. So, lastly, I'm going to say take care of yourself, y'all. For real. Take care of your mental well-being. It's rough right now for a lot of folks. If you're struggling, please reach out to someone that you trust. Otherwise, reach out to a support network such as Crisis Lines. Right now in chat, there are organizations that you can call or text 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, And if you are not currently in Twitch chat or not in the U.S., you can go to Mm findahelpline.com. That way you can look up by your location to find support available to you through crisis support. And I'm Mom McStabber, registered nurse. I'm going to tell you, please get your fucking vaccines. Please, 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 please. Somebody fell off. Psychshire fell off. Anyway, please get your vaccines so that we can all be healthy and stick around for a long time and uh, prevent you know, outbreaks of diseases that should have been eradicated by now, except for anti-vaxxers with their misinformation. Yeah. Um, And literally make sure that you take care of yourselves, because as we are going into a new administration, it may be harder to do so. For real. So, yeah. Do that. And lastly, I'm going to say, if you're in the U.S., and you are a registered voter, and you abstained from voting, voted third party, or voted for the fucking fascist convict and rapist that is going to become president, get the fuck off my channel. Get the fuck out of my Discord server. You are not welcome. And you deserve everything that's coming. Because you voted for this. Either by abstaining, voting third party, or voting for him. You did. said with my whole chest. Y'all have a good night.